Push in. Right. Keep your eyes peeled. That wall back there might still be hot, so be ready. What about C Preacher? And cut. Set. All right, and play back. And back on action, and action. has put his life online and he has saved hundreds and hundreds of kids and you look at that and say you know like so many people say oh I'm, I'm giving money to to charity and and we're also hypocritical in our society that we say oh we are a good person we're not hurting anybody but ultimately we're not really doing anything we're not putting our our li life on the line to saving anybody and there's this man who isn't you know really an anti-hero not a very flawed character and very has a very abusive past but in the same time has managed to help so many kids and change their life so i found it really fascinating because it's there's this conflict with, with within the within this character which makes it interesting storytelling i've spent quite a lot of time with sam i mean i 
I, um, I we went to visit him and stayed um, stayed with him in Pennsylvania, um, you know, and, and and went around with them and 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 um, watched him preach in his church, and I, I probably have about. 40 hours of conversation where I would just always have Sam on in the background as much to listen to how he talked, how he expressed himself, um, and as much to hear his stories. Sam Childers is, a, is, is an intimidating guy, you know, and he's a handful and he's, you know, and I think we've captured that, you know, in the, in the movie thus far. Um, he, it, it, it was intimidating for me to write about a real guy. And I think that's why I wanted to bring him in. You know, I wanted, I, I didn't want to make it up. I didn't want to, you know, be off on my own. Um, I wanted him right there. And, and he was very eager to, you know, you know, be there with me. So I, I think actually at first it was intimidating. And then the more we sort of worked together, it became less and less intimidating because, you know, I think we enjoyed the process. Mark's real good because he doesn't want anything to be too sentimental. Um, and he's really striving to, to get a real natural approach. He doesn't want to hit anything on the head too hard. Um, you know, even though this is a real, based on a true story, sometimes it may be kind of hard to believe just, you know, what happens. And I've, I've been involved like, in projects like that before, like World Trade Center, where it's based on something that really happened, but it's just, it's so hard to believe that it, that it did because it's such an incredible story. So I think Mark brings a very, um, he, he brings a very calm, he's very calm, you know, which I think is a huge asset in something like this, because I think the movie will be a reflection of his, his, his sensibility. I don't call up Mark every day and say, I've got this great story for you to tell, but I knew with this movie that he would bring, you know, the, the scope to it, the elegance, the characters, the, the emotion, the, the, the depth and, and the layers that he's brought in all of his movies. There's hundreds, probably thousands of children all around us here, and many of them don't have a real good life. You can see that, okay? But it's something when you can take a child that might, might not have a good life, maybe the schooling's not good, maybe the food they're eating is not good, but they still get a smile on their face. They'll still laugh and giggle and, and, and end up playing. Children are the same all around the world. And I believe sometimes the more a child has, the spoiler they get, you know, because in America, there's a lot of children that just aren't thankful for everything they got. But I noticed in Africa, you can, you can take a bottle of soda and you can give it to 10 children and they'll take little sips until everyone gets a sip and they just keep passing it around, sharing it. You don't see that a lot in America. Yeah, you don't see that a lot.